Welcome to Medellin, a city with a dark past and a vibrant future. But I'm not here today to talk about narco culture or criminality or any other garbage. What I'm here to talk about is doggies or pebbles. And these little critters can be found all over the city. Thirty years ago, these little furry creatures would have been found guarding some dark barrio, some favela up in the hills for the cartels. But things have changed. This is a city of four million people, not including its dogs. Here in Medellin, these animals give us a sense of ambience. It adds to the character of the city. They wander around looking for snacks and treats from people like me. And you'll see them lying in doorways and entrances of the houses that they live in. Now you see these dogs laying along these once bloody streets, occupying doorways and entrances all over the place. In a way, they've built up their own little territories. But it's not all sunshine and tail wags. Medellin has its issues, still. Yes, the city's been cleaned up considerably since 30 years ago. But under the surface, there's a reality that still exists here. However, it is now becoming an amazing place for tourism. And like humans, the dogs of this city have had to form gangs of their own as a way to survive. And along the way, they form complex societies amongst themselves to go with it. And as for the cats here, they prefer to be hidden from view. They live a much more low-key life than in places like Istanbul, where they seem to be everywhere. So as you travel the back alleys and favelas of this amazing city, don't forget about the dogs that live here. 